React is one of the hottest things to hit the front end development scene in years. And today we're looking at five courses that are going to up your React game. As a paid spokeswoman for Real Tough Candy, I can confidently say that you should hit the back button on your browser. No, dude. Seriously. Real Tough Candy from realtoughcandy.com back online with you guys today. Today we're checking out five of the many of the sea of React courses out there from total React newbie all the way to intermediate to perhaps even advanced React developer. Something for everyone in this video, but here's the thing, even just going to Udemy, there are a ton of results for React, a lot of courses out there, and I'm only covering five today, so if your favorite React course is not in here, let me know in the comment section so other people can check it out for themselves and see if it's worth their time. And as you may have concluded from the screen, First, kicking it off is the one and only Andre Negoy, complete React developer in 2019. I did a full review on this course. Check it out. Very comprehensive for newbies, as comprehensive as a Udemy course can get. Um, so you're doing 10 plus projects in this thing. It's 39 hours, lots of resources and articles here. I think one of the biggest sells, one of the biggest draws of his courses is not just the content. Um, the content is great. But I think an even bigger feature of the course is his Discord server and lots of people active every day. He's also there, it seems, almost every day, um, just making sure things are going good and checking in with people. And it can be really encouraging. Uh, React has a lot of moving parts and it is easy to just get through like 20% of a Udemy course and just be like, yeah, I'm over it. But with the Discord, you do have some options for accountability. You can find a study buddy or coding partner or, you know, just hang out with the group and be like, yeah, I'm really having a problem with the progressive web app section or whatever. The other cool thing about this React course by Andre is that he covers GraphQL. GraphQL is getting more and more traction. A lot of people are curious about it. So it's a cool thing to see integrated here along with Firebase too. Firebase is a database as a service, dipping into that serverless technology here, Stripe, Context API, and Redux. Let's go inside the actual course here. So there's 10 plus projects, and the big one, the cornerstone or capstone project, I guess you could call it, is an e-commerce app, kind of like Shopify, um, and it's a Mern stack project too. So again, really modern stuff here. The Mern stack you're hearing more and more of. A few people in my Discord server, the Real Tough Candy Discord server, have, have taken this course and they have loved it. Also a pretty robust section on testing here and I could go on and on. Great course for beginners, lots of tech, easy to get overwhelmed with because there just is so much stuff, but maximize that Discord server and I think you're gonna see some better results with that. Course number two, going over to some serious competition with Colt Steel, the modern React bootcamp with hooks, context, next, JS, and router. Again, that runtime, just under 40 hours here and make no mistake, Colt Steel is the godfather of Udemy. When Colt makes a course, he knows what he's talking about and he knows to make the lectures generally super digestible. WTF is super versus super props and some entertaining lectures too, just to keep things interesting. Because as an educator, he also has a boot camp he does in person in San Francisco. He understands that this stuff is pretty tough to learn when you're going over five and six minutes. Now, yes, there are some lectures that hit the 10, 11 minute mark, but a lot of them you're going to see three minutes, coin flipper exercise, three minutes, state design example, lot of ball component, four minutes. Um, you're doing a lot of projects in this one too, starting with some simple projects and then going all the way up here to the massive color project. So you're keeping busy throughout this course. He also has a two hour bonus course on a Webpack crash course. That one's free on YouTube too, if you just wanna learn how to use Webpack, but that's included here just as a bonus. Going back to the sales page, you may have noticed that something is missing in this one and that is Redux. Now Redux is not a make or break, but it is really handy to know and you may find yourself using it in a lot of your larger React projects. Unfortunately, I, I just don't know why he didn't include it. I wish he would have, honestly, when it comes head to head with Andre's versus Colt's. Andre's is more comprehensive, I think a titch more bleeding edge. And also this was updated, Andre's was updated just this month and Colt's last update was in May. Where did I just see that? Here it is, just updated in May. A lot of stuff can change in just a few months and updates in web development courses are just so critical. I am still recommending this course though because Colt is an excellent instructor. All the basics are here and you build some good 
easy projects along with some more advanced projects. And honestly, I think a lot of it does come down to just instructor preference. Some people just enjoy this guy's style a lot more than other people's. Some people enjoy Andre's style a lot more. Check out the preview videos also. It's $10.99 right now, both of these courses. So I mean, even if you buy both, it's really not that big of a deal. Let's transition out of Udemy now because the last couple months I've been seeing some pretty cool platforms, some pretty decent offerings. And one of those offerings is by a guy named Kyle Cook. He has his own YouTube channel and he just launched this course called Learn React Today. Let's go to the sales page here. You can kind of see a little better. Learn React in all its modern features, such as hooks and context, in less than a day with this highly focused React course. What I like about Kyle's course is that not only does he know the material, he's a computer science grad who taught himself React, very organized with his course, but also the fact that he's kind of flipping the Udemy model on its head. All the rest of these Udemy courses are 40 hours, everything you ever wanted to know about React and didn't want to know. With Kyle's course, it's kind of like a movie from the 1940s. If you're a movie buff, you know those old school movies are like an hour and 10 minutes. Get them into the theater, get them out. And that's what I really like about this course because he breaks it all down where it's a short course, you're doing a lot, but you can get in and then get out in less than a day. And unlike Udemy, these lectures are a little longer, um, between 10 and 15 minutes. This one here is 10 minutes. Um, I don't need to go through them all, but longer lectures, not for the short of the attention span crowd. So the two projects you work on here is a counter application and cooking with React. The second project is pretty robust. You can tell Kyle didn't just read the documentation and say, oh, I think I'm gonna make a React course. Like he really knows what he's doing. The, the lectures are really fluid. They segue excellently and his production values are really good. Like his mic levels are great. I think the big selling point of this course is that it's succinct and it is really focused on giving you the core concepts along with two projects where by the end of the day you can be like, oh, if you sit down over a weekend, you can definitely crank this out and then move on to bigger and better things. So the promises are practical. Whereas as much as I love these Udemy courses, I see the hyperbolic advertising so much and I just, I don't agree with it. It's everything you need to know for a complete React developer. Like the promises made in Kyle's course, I think are pretty spot on and there's no hyperbolic. No, everything you need to know. He's like, no, you can learn the basics. We're gonna build two projects. And I really think a lot of course instructors can take some guidance from this guy, Kyle of Web Deb Simplified. Learn React Today by Kyle Cook. That is number three. Let's move platforms. We're shifting platforms to another platform I just discovered the other week, educative.io. Now, one of these I'm gonna talk about is a paid bundle. The other one is free. It's called Building Tesla's Battery Range Calculator with React and Redux. It's 36 lessons. If you are new to React, do not take this because it's not gonna make a lot of sense. Uh, this is for people who have experience with React even if it's just a little bit, but this one is project-based, just a really cool project. Modern from the get-go, you're using Create React app, which is a godsend for a lot of us, just makes that a React creation so much easier. And then you get right into it, breaking down the UI, header components, Tesla stats component. I actually did a full review of educative.io. Check out the video popping up right now. I, I love this platform. A few people I know have actually signed up for it in the last week or so. Let me know what you think. I'm really digging it, but if you guys think it sucks, um, I may have to reinvestigate this. The UX and the UI is on point, and there's a lot of talking of the hows and whys rather than okay, we're gonna build a battery, code this. Like they explain in the text here why you're doing what you're doing. And I think that is missing in so many platforms. Um, but this is a great free one if you have experience with React and it's a fun freaking project I have not seen anywhere else. Really cool one. And then for people who need to learn the basics, they have a React track. It's called React for Front End Developers. And it's a four course combo where you start out with the basics. And guess what? They're teaching you JavaScript fundamentals before you even dive into this stuff, which I think, again, missing from the majority, absolutely majority. Like I'm talking like 95% 
of the React courses I've seen, and I've seen dozens. This is just not emphasized enough, and we are so excited to jump into the fun stuff that we skip, we tend to skip the fundamental boring stuff, but they start you off with the JavaScript fundamentals, lots of questions, and they integrate React in the second half of this lesson or this, this course. So they start you off with JavaScript fundamentals, that's 31 lessons, and then the road to learning React. You're still just like a gentle easing into the concept of React. And then by the third course, you're integrating Firebase with React. And then as the final course, you're doing React in patterns. It's another really good one. All four of these courses in this track are really good. Yeah, the whole track is 136 bucks, but seriously, if you can learn React with the fundamentals built in, I think it's absolutely worth it. 136 bucks in the grand scheme of things to learn one of the hottest technologies to hit the scene. I think is still a steal. Like eleven ninety nine, ten ninety nine is ridiculous, but this is still a pretty good deal. Check out the fundamentals for nineteen bucks. Check out how to integrate Firebase with React using coding playgrounds for twenty nine bucks. Still really good deals. High quality stuff. I've really been loving this platform, and I do recommend it, especially if you're sick of videos. This is not a video based platform. So let's recap. Starting back at Udemy. We have a ton of them, but my top two, I have to say, the first one is Complete React Developer in 2019 with Andre Negoy. Second off, the Modern React Bootcamp with Colt Steele. Then number three, going off the Udemy path with Kyle Cook's Learn React Today. If you're just trying to learn it in a day and not all this other extra stuff, great course. And then moving on to Educative.io, we have Building Tesla's Battery Range Calculator with React and Redux. And finally, React for front-end developers. Guys, I hope this video gave you some ideas, gave you some inspiration. I know there are tons of React courses out there, a lot on Udemy that I didn't talk about today that are pretty good, and a lot off Udemy that are also pretty good. So let me know your favorites. I look forward to reading them. All these links are gonna be in the description box and the comment box. If you use my links, I may get a few bucks because I'm an affiliate, but you don't have to use my links if you hate me or don't feel like signing up. So no pressure either way. I just hope this video gave you some insight. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.